Alright, so I want to start this video off with an apology. I want to apologize because I know that recently, over the last month or so, my video production schedule has not been as regularly uh, as it normally was in the past, and that will be changing. I will be getting back to normal here uh, in the future. I've had a lot of things going on, a lot of personal stuff uh, that I'm sure we'll get into in the future, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am very aware that my video production has slowed, um, and that there is a very good reason for it, and that will not... Uh, will not stay that way. We will be getting back to our two or three videos a week, but I did want to uh, address that right off the bat. So, with that being said, I want to get into the topic of this video, something that I've been thinking about, something I've been seeing a lot. You guys know, I have, I look at the, I watch the forums, the, the long range forums, the Facebook groups, and I like to see what people are talking about, um, see what, what people are recommending on people's posts, just to see where things are at, um, not always to critique it or anything, just to see what other people are saying. And I notice a trend, um, one of the most common, one of the most common posts on any of these, uh, groups or forums or whatever they are, um, is, I'm building a new rifle. What suggestion do you guys have for a rifle for such and such purpose of long range shooting and shooting a massive elk or, or whatever? Um, and you see more and more of a trend of somebody who is wanting to build a short action cartridge and get the most out of it, which who can blame somebody for wanting to get the most out of whatever they're putting together? Um, so with getting the most out of it, people are often recommending these cartridges that are, while yes, technically can be chambered in short action, are really better suited for a long action. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. So as you guys know, I've shot 7 SOM for quite some time. 7 SOM is technically a short action cartridge, short action ultra mag. Um, and when this cartridge was first introduced, the short action ultra mag, um, it probably was very well suited to be in a short action. I built my 7 SOM on a long action and for very good reason. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. There's a handful of cartridges, not just the SOM, there's a there's quite a few of them um, that are very large short action cartridges technically but are really better off being built in a long action now you may say well why if i'm going to go up to a long action why wouldn't i just go out and do a, a full-size magnum why would i bother with one of these cartridges and we'll talk more about that too why you may want to choose one of these cartridges and chamber it in a long action so like I said, I've been loading and shooting the 7 SOM for quite some time. When I first wanted to get into the 7 SOM, I started off having my long action Tika to start with. So I had the action um, that was easily going to fit something much larger than a 7 SOM. Um, and there, we talked about, I did a video a while back on why I chose the 7 SOM. Um, but knowing that I had plenty of room left in this magazine. I could have went with a much bigger cartridge, but for the reasons that I was building this rifle, being competition, long range, extreme long range, all those things, this was the cartridge that really fit the bill for all the things that I wanted to do. Um, now, could I have built this in a short action? Absolutely, I could have built this in a short action, but that would have hindered me and it really would have, I would have been better off in my personal opinion going with a smaller short action cartridge and getting more out of it with my bullet selection. So what do I mean by that? So when you take a cartridge that yes, can fit in a short action. Now this obviously is not fitting in this short action. This is the seven SOM in a standard short action magazine. Obviously this cartridge is not fitting in this action. Um, for one main reason, the bullet that I'm running. I'm running a heavy, high BC, um, high ballistic coefficient, heavy for caliber bullet, so I can get the most out of my cartridge. If I was to try to chamber this 7 SOM in this short action, or in a short action, as you can see, this is the 183 Match King. I actually have a load with the 197 Match King, which is significantly longer than this. Um, if I was to try to load up a 180 class bullet, which is, as most of you guys know, any of you guys that run 7 millimeters, um, when it comes to the long range and the ELR and the competition stuff, 180 class and above now is kind of the, the standard. Um, so if I wanted to run those 180 class bullets and do it in my throat that is in my 7 SOM, the throat that I have cha my 7 SOM chambered with is cut for these 180 class bullets to, so that they sit perfectly uh, bullets sit perfectly in the 
in the case. Um, but if, obviously, if I wanted to do that, I couldn't do that in a short action uh, and still mag feed. I could probably do that in single feed, but then you come into other problems. So as you guys know, Joey, Joey, you see him on my channel quite a bit. Me and him shoot together, lots of videos together. He has several, several rifles that he has put together. Um, one of the rifles that you guys have seen, I actually was looking for a video of this. I know I've, me and him have done videos of this rifle, but I couldn't find any. Um, his 6.5 x 284 Norma. Um, it's a great cartridge. It is one of those cartridges that, while it can be chambered in a short action, is probably in some cases, depending on what you plan to do with it, depending on the bullet you plan to run, better suited for a long action. So he built this 6.5 x 284 Norma on a short action. It chambers, it does everything, but then he runs into a couple issues. First off, he can't mag feed them, so this is a single feed only. So what well, that was one of the, the actually the 6.5 x 284 Norma was the cartridge seeing it recommended so much and so many people jumping on the bandwagon of recommending it to this person who was looking for a short action cartridge to get the most out of their hunting rifle um, as well as be able to shoot matches and and shoot long range and get the most long range performance out of a short action and it seemed like the 6.5 x 284 was what these people were we're talking this guy into settling on and like I said Joey built his on a short action but if you ask him he wishes he would have built that thing on a long action for a few reasons so first off he can't mag feed him the 6.5 x 284 Norma is much longer than your standard short action um, he cannot mag feed them second if he loads a full case if he loads a cartridge into them into the into the chamber and then for some reason decides not to shoot that cartridge and he wants to eject it, it will not eject out the magwell without him having to hit the bolt release, pull the bolt back a slight bit um, far enough to get the nose of the bullet out past the end of the magwell and then he can get the bullet out that way. Um, with my old uh, 300 wind mag, which my 7 SOM here actually started life as, as a 300 wind mag, the, by the time I was done with that, the bullets that I was loading for this rifle were really heavy for caliber, 30 caliber bullets, um, and they were so long that I couldn't eject, even having a 300 wind mag length magazine, I couldn't mag feed them, and I couldn't get them to eject without having to pull the bolt. So, imagine that that's in a, a long action cartridge that's meant for a long action. Now you're looking at a short action cartridge that was built to skirt the limits of a short action. So I just want people to be aware. Um, I see a lot of people recommending these cartridges as awesome cartridges. They'll fit in a short action. You're looking at cartridges like you've got the Psalms, the short action ultra mags, uh, the Winchester short magnums. Uh, most of those cartridges, most of these cartridges, in my personal opinion, would be better suited to be built on a long action. So why though would you want to build one of these cartridges on a long action? If you're going to step up to a long action you have all that extra room. As you can see my 7 SOM here while it is chambered in a long action it doesn't really fit in a short action. This thing's got a lot of room left in that long action magazine. So because of that really I I'm actually kind of wasting some of that space that I have in the long action. Now we know the reasons that I picked the 7 SOM and why I ch chambered in a long action because of the bullets that I wanted to run and all that but why would somebody who's getting wanting to get into a rifle um, want to chamber a short action cartridge in a long action? There are many different reasons. One of the reasons that we pick cartridges like the 7 saw one of the reasons that things that led me to this cartridge like we talked about in that video um, is the fact that yes it is has a significant more has a significant more velocity and energy than a standard short action 7 mm like a 7 mm 08 but at the same time it has way less recoil than your standard long action cartridge so it's much more controllable that recoil is much more controllable and in match shooting um, controlling your recoil and being consistent is one of the keys to getting the most accuracy out of whatever you're doing. So that is one of the big reasons. Um, another reason is bullet selection. You can absolutely pick any bullet you want and run it out as far as you want um, if you are running one of these long action cartridges or short action cartridges in a long action. Um, obviously, 
as this chamber wears, if I needed to, if I if the barrel lasted long enough to really stretch these lands out, I could chase those lands as far as I needed to um, and never run out of space uh, in my 7 SOM here. And that's just one of the little things. There are many advantages to these cartridges. And like I've said in the past, and obviously, if you're wanting to pick a cartridge, it needs to suit your needs. There are so many cartridges out there, but I think it is silly to try to Yes, you're pushing the limits of a short action by by picking one of these. The even cartridges like the uh, the 284 Win, um, some of those cartridges like that. The 284 Win, the 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 Psalms, the Winchester Short Mags, um, the six this uh, six five two eighty fours, the six two eighty fours. All these cartridges, yes, they are skirting the limits. They are really stretching the abilities of a short action cartridge but now that bullet technology has advanced to where it is in today's market where you can get these bullets that back when most of these cartridges were created um bullet technology we didn't have 180 grain seven millimeter bullets we didn't have 110 115 grain six millimeter bullets so this wasn't an issue back then now that it is an issue i think because these cartridges have still remained relevant, some of these cartridges are better suited for a long action. And that, that is my rant on this. Um, I know a lot of you guys are aware of this, um, but I think for some of you guys that are getting into long range shooting or wanting to build that, that do it all rifle and you're getting some of these recommendations, this is some, see, these are some of the things you need to be aware of. So I hope this video helps. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.